What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Loner Games channel. I go by Jay, aka Loner Beats, and today we are getting into a, a nice little series called Bills for the Homies. These are all bills that I've, you know, been playing with and tinkering with that, like, I ain't got no space for. So, thought I might share them with you guys and share why I think, like, they're solid bills. This series came about after a lot of my, a lot of the homies hit me up and was like, yo, I need a build. You can build a, you have some solid bills. Build me one. Walk me through it. Show me what you got over here. So the first build is going to be the blue and yellow. And I I don't really be looking at a lot of people's builds videos. So if you seen this, you know, my bad. But I just thought like, hey, the numbers are kind of cool. Let's share it. Let's get it out here. So with the blue and yellow, you will do this right here. Bring that up to 20. Max up to shooting because shooting is definitely very important. Playmaking, come up to here so you get 22, although you probably don't need that, but you know, it is what it is. But defense rebounding, steal, lateral quickness, perimeter defense, and now we have 20, 13, 22, and 9. This is nasty. This is like, you get to the rack, you money. They leave you open, depending on how your bad setups are and your jumper and your timing, you might be able to knock down some shots. The 64-3 is a little sketch. Uh, I ain't gonna flex, but I've seen people with smaller numbers than that. The nine defensive badge is probably the most thing that I'm like, I like. I definitely like the idea of nine defensive badges off rip. Like, that's more than enough to get you what you need. So go Burley, six fives where I would go. I would minimize your weight all the way down to 182 so you can get the max vert and whatnot once again this is a point guard build um so the vert is not really important but i like that's just me i like throwing a rebound chase for one time in the park and you know getting bouncy uh the 95 acceleration is a must you're just gonna be like just running bro just running so the wingspan here's where it can get interesting so you leave a default an 88 ball control with 81.6 wingspan phenomenal that's solid me personally i like to be cheese not cheesy i like to i like to be messed up man i ain't gonna lie i like you know 87 ball control you can go 86 86 is what you need to speed boost and whatnot so you go 87 this looks a little weird because burly let's Five, and then 83 and a half wingspan gives you an 87 ball control it only takes a jumper down one and you get that extra you know length just look how long his arms are it's ridiculous look like you've been slap boxing pigeons um <laughs> takeover wise once again completely up to you if you want that extra, like, you know, ball handling control, go playmaking. But I personally will go over here to the slashing side. I think this badge is its just nuts. It's crazy. So, badge-wise, with the 20 badges, you can go contact, fancy, slithery, right? Boom, you already got your three main ones out the way. You can go acrobat. And then I would go boom, boom. So you can get around, you know, some some bigs every once in a while, and you can reduce your stamina as you take contact. That's personally what I would go with. Um, you can also take these down one, I believe, and go. Pretty much, you can go one each, right? And go. You can go that, or you can go fancy. That way, your hop steps is on point, and that's nasty in itself. You have a lot of options. Yeah, yeah, you definitely have a lot of options. I think this is a very good setup off rip. Most of these builds I'm making, I don't know if I said it or not, like all out the gate, you should be like ready to go. Granted, you're gonna need your badges, but you won't have to wait to 99 to do speed boosting or you wait, won't have to wait to 99 for your jumper to be X, Y, Z. Just out the gate, you should be ready to go and good. So 13 shooting badges isn't a lot to work with, but it's enough depending on, you know, how you play. Uh, range tender gold of course quick draw is completely up to you i personally like mono silver hot zone green machine 
boom, boom, boom. Now, you can place these other three where you want. And sometimes you don't need corner if that you're not. I just put corner because I like, uh, I shoot in the corner. Most of my builds, I'm just at the corner anyway, or I find myself in the corner all the time. So you don't, you don't need to have that. That's just me personally. You take that away, you can go boom, boom, here, and then here, or here. I said personally part here. Uh, I know Green Machine, silver is pretty much all you really need it on for it to really do its job. I have it on Hall of Fame on one of my builds. I have it on silver, and I don't really feel that big of a difference. Uh, you also can take away Deadeye if you're not taking contested shots and go here, and that's nasty. Like, that's solid. Catch and shoot on silver, green machine, hot zone, range, quick draw on gold if you need to run it on gold. That's that's good. You are set there. You can go catch and shoot on gold, green machine, quick draw. That's a good, that's a, that's a good setup. All right, playmaking. Um, completely dependent on how you want to play. Always suggest quick first step. Unpluckable. Stop and go to get you out of there. With this building... Like, if you can get those stutters and that that freeze animation, you should be ready to go. Although I, when I use it, I don't really see it pop up all that much, so I'm not really gonna recommend it to you. Although, if it pops up for you, you can escape really fast. Um, you can throw ankle breaker on there. It just depends what kind of point guard you are, what kind of guard you are. I don't really be dribbling like you know. I don't really be doing all that, so I don't really need it. I go these two for sure. Downhill because you're a slasher. Dimer because I help out the homies. Um, you can go tight handles. That's a great one to have. Or you can go floor general to really help out the homies. This is kind of built to where, oh, and handles for days. You can go dimer and floor general if you want. And if you have shooters around you, it's going to make your job a lot better. People have to come on the shooters. The guy in front of you missteps or misses off of you, leaks off of you. Bang out, easy peasy. Now, defense and badges, we're going clamps, off rip, you can go intimidator and go that on gold, and then bing, bang. And with your arm length, this is nasty. I'm not even gonna flex, this, this is gross. You can even take that down and go here, and that's nasty. So you have a lot of options with nine badges. You can do whatever you want, uh, it's all dependent on how you play. Some people are in bronze. You can then put this on silver. You can throw a pick dodger on bronze and go here. Like, just whatever you want to do. A lot a lot is here. Um, you can throw on the chase down. That way you can get the animations and throw on a silver rim protector. Like, and you have the arm length to do it. People are not going to expect point guards to have rim protector. That's like the sneakiest shit ever, bro. So when you, there's a lot of situations where you get a point guard on point guard, one on one in the paint. He's doing a layup or whatever. He's trying to go back up on you. Nah, son. We're not having it. Get that out of here. So, entirely up to you. But this was the Slash and Playmaker and how I would run them. Um, 2013, 22, 9. Great badges. This is going to take you like some time to like you know get everything. But very well set up. Very, very solid uh, build. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Once again, this was builds for the homies um let me know in the comments what kind of builds you're looking for let me know what kind of player you want to be like oh i want a james Harden. i want an anthony davis i want this i'll see if i can make the video and uh we'll try to make something happen but until next time i'll catch you guys later it's been real go by j aka loner beast this is the loner games channel and i'll catch you guys later peace